हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मनी एंड फंक्शन ऑफ मनी व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय मनी मनी कॉमनली एक्सेप्टेड एज अ मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज मनी कॉमनली एक्सेप्टेड एज अ मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज एंड इट अलाउ पीपल टू ऑप्टेन व्हाट दे नीड टू लिव मनी बेसिकली हैव टू फंक्शंस प्राइमरी फंक्शन एंड सेकेंडरी फंक्शन इन प्राइमरी फंक्शन वी इंक्लूड medium of exchange and measure of value in secondary function we include a standard of defer payment and store value of money one by one we discuss about each function firstly we talk about primary function of money primary function of money is most important function of money and first primary function of money is medium of exchange money as a medium of exchange means we can use money to make payment for all transaction मनी एज अ मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज मीन्स वी कैन यूज मनी टू मेक पेमेंट फॉर ऑल ट्रांजेक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल बायर कैन बाय गुड्स फ्रॉम मनी ओन दी अनदर हैंड सेलर कैन सेल गुड्स फॉर मनी ओके एंड सेकेंड प्राइमरी फंक्शन ऑफ मनी इज मेजर ऑफ वैल्यू मेजर ऑफ वैल्यू मीन्स वैल्यू ऑफ ऑल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी और वी कैन से दैट प्राइज ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाय दिस मोबाइल यू You exactly know how much money you need for this mobile. Means you know value of uh, this mobile in terms of money. And with this function, we can compare value of different goods and services. Now we talk about secondary function of money. Secondary function of money is derived from primary function of money. Okay. And first secondary function of money is standard of deferred payment. What do you mean by deferred payment? Deferred payment are basically basically future payment for example when you purchase something now but pay for it in future it will call deferred payment okay and standard of deferred payment means money act as a standard for making future payment for example when you borrow money from someone and after some time period you have to return both principal as well as interest amount and with the money it is very easy to calculate interest rate and payment of interest rate in future in short we can say that money make our credit very easy okay and next secondary function of money is store value function store value function of money means we can store money and spend in future store value function of money is very important because as we know money as a asset that maintain its value for over time period this is all about money and function of money i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care